This tutorial provides an introduction to the process of disclosure, which is typically the first substantive direction with which the parties to court proceedings will have to comply following a case management conference. Disclosure is a fundamental requirement of every set of civil proceedings that occur in England and Wales and is designed to ensure the parties to litigation are on even ground insofar as the availability of documentary evidence is concerned. Once a document has been disclosed in the course of litigation, any other party is entitled to inspect that document, save for in certain exceptional circumstances. The duty of disclosure continues until judgment or settlement and includes a duty to preserve relevant documents. A solicitor owes a duty to ensure his client is aware of and understands his duty of disclosure and the duty to preserve documents which are disclosable. A failure to do so is likely to be a professional conduct issue. Nature of disclosure. As will be discussed shortly, disclosure usually takes place by way of a formal exchange of disclosure statements and lists of documents following a reasonable search for documents in the control of the parties to the proceedings. However, note the meaning of control is wider than it may appear, as it includes both documents which are and have been in the control of the party, and of which he has physical possession, the right to possession, or the right to copy or inspection. A party discloses a document by stating that the document exists or has existed. The court has interpreted this to mean that a document referred to in, for example, a witness statement has been disclosed and any other party to litigation is entitled to inspect that document.